I'm Rick Barth. I'm one of the cancer surgeons here at Dartmouth. I've been here for 25 years and I take care of a lot of patients with breast cancer. What I'm going to tell you about in the next few minutes is a device that we've invented that's going to transform the way that we can take care of and do, uh, breast cancer patients and do their surgery. One of the biggest problems we have right now is that the methods we have to um, use to do breast conserving surgery are very imprecise. So most patients present with breast cancer that you can't feel. So we have to use a technique called wire localization to identify where the cancer is in the breast. Wire localization involves the placement of a wire in the breast when patients are awake before their surgery. And then we have, then the patients come up to the operating room with the wire in their breast and we have to sort of figure out where the cancer is and try to take it out. It's not a very precise method. And in fact, 25% of the time, when we use wire localized lumpectomy, there's a positive margin. That is, there are cancer cells at the edge of what we take out. So we have to call the patient, we have to come back in and have more surgery. Well, the patients don't like it, don't like wire localization because they don't like the wire being placed in their breast when they're awake, and they certainly don't like coming back for another surgery and having more breast tissue removed. So I said, there must be a better way to do this. And so I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I had a three-dimensional picture of exactly where the cancer is in the breast to guide my surgery? So currently we do MRIs on patients, and an MRI gives us a bit of that three-dimensional picture. But the MRIs are done with patients lying on their belly. And as you know, we're operating with patients on their back in the operating room. So our first innovation was to do MRIs with patients lying on their back. And now we had these images that corresponded with how the patients were on the operating room table. And then I spoke with engineers at the Thayer School of Engineering at Dartmouth, and I said, can we make this into a 3D picture that I can then use in the operating room to operate on patients more precisely? And they gave me some navigation tools to be able to do that. So we started testing that idea in patients, and in fact, <clears throat> put together a study where we studied 140 patients. Half of them had the standard wire localization technique, and half we operate on with our supine MRI technique. We had great results. We cut the positive margin rate from 25% down to 12%. But while we were doing it, we still felt that this technique wasn't so great. Okay? It wasn't perfect because it was difficult to still localize cancers that were deep in the breast, and the navigation system was a little cumbersome to use so that it really couldn't be used across the United States. So that's when we came, through, came up with our real breakthrough, and that's the breast cancer locator. <clears throat> so here it is. There's the breast cancer locator. So it's a 3D printed plastic form that we place on the breast before surgery. And what we can do is it has little holes in the breast, in the, in the form, that we can mark the edges of the cancer on the breast surface. And then through these ports, we can place wires into the breast while the patient's asleep that precisely define the edges of the cancer. Then we take this off, okay? We know exactly where the edges of the cancer are inside the breast tissue. We know the, extent, the edges on the surface, and from the still, we still have the 3D model that we can look in the, in the operating room, and we know exactly the distance from the skin to the tumor and from the tumor to the chest wall. So knowing that information, we can really precisely do breast cancer surgery. We've tested this now in 20 patients, and it's worked great all patients we've been able to do lumpectomies and have negative margins. So our next step is to have this device tested at other centers. So I've spoken to several surgeons about this at other centers and I can tell you they're very excited to be able to use the breast cancer locator. And so we're planning a clinical trial where we're going to compare the breast cancer locator to wire localization lumpectomy. We feel confident we can decrease the positive margin rate to 5% or less, which I think is really going to transform the way we can do breast cancer surgery in the United States. And we'd love to be able to have you guys support us in our, in our efforts to do this. Thank you, Dr. Barth. That was a terrific presentation. So I'm a breast cancer survivor. Um, actually, Dr. Rosencrantz was my surgeon, but I'm very excited about this um, idea and the uh, locator. So for a woman like me, let's fast forward five to 10 years from now. What do you envision would be the outcome if you get the funding we can give to you today? What, what do you see the um, result would be for women like me? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm sorry that you had breast cancer. I'm glad that you're doing well now. About 50,000 women 
in the United States each year have to have reexcisions because of positive margins. So if we can really demonstrate that this, that our device decreases the positive margin rate from 25% down to less than 5%, you know, at least 40,000 women are not going to need those extra surgery. They're not going to need more breast tissue taken out, and they're going to have a, a procedure that's done a lot, um, you know, simpler for them. And I really think that this device, it's a pretty simple and easy to use device, so it's very applicable, and I think lots of surgeons across the country are going to be able to do this. Dr. Barth, you talked about the, the form. I assume the 3D printing is uh, developed with the individual patient, so there's each, a form is for each patient. Right. I'm interested in the technology side of it. How, um, how easy will it be to spread this technology to smaller hospitals that may not have some of the technological uh, capabilities like we have here in CSI within room imaging and things like that? 3D printing technology is, is improving daily um, and it's got more and more applications in the medical field. Um, what our vision right now is that patients would have their MRI done at their local institution and then the images can be transferred here where our radiologists can then um, draw the edges of the cancer <clears throat> for each slice and create that 3D image. We have a central printing facility where we would print them and then we would send those, um, the, the printed breast cancer locators to the surgeons at their hospitals and then they could use them in the operating room. So that's our current model for how we would do this. How much of a commitment from us are you looking for? Our next step is this pivotal clinical trial where the way we've designed it, it'll be about 200 patients in each arm of the study, okay? 200 patients will have the wire localization and 200 patients would have our new form. If we assume that we're gonna go from 20% positive margin to 10% positive margin, okay, that's about how many patients we need. To fund a study like that, it'll probably be about a million dollars. Money well spent. Indeed. Yeah, thank well, you so much. Okay, that's thanks. Great. Thanks.